Did you know that painting your home is the second most common pre-listing project? Hi, I'm Eli Bader and welcome to another episode of Analyze That, where we talk about everything Bay Area living. One of the biggest questions I get is should I really paint my home? Well, in this video, I want to help you analyze whether the cost of painting your house is a worthy one to consider for putting your home on the market. According to a 2012 Home Gain Seller Survey, painting the interior of your home results in 107% turn on your investment or ROI. Painting the exterior leads to a 55% ROI. A fresh coat of paint is a signal to a prospective buyer that the home is clean and they can begin imagining themselves moving in and living there. Over the years you spend in a home, walls inevitably show signs of wear and tear in the form of scuff marks, stains, and chips in the paint. Walls can even fall victim to the artistic expression of toddlers, but damage to your interior walls is mostly only paint deep. The exterior of your home is tied to your curb appeal, and improving your curb appeal will have a huge positive effect on your home sale. Each home requires a different level of care. Sometimes the exterior of your home will need a little more TLC so we don't scare off any potential buyers. Unappealing exteriors alert buyers to beware and proceed with caution when viewing the home. Even when in actuality, the interior of the home can be in amazing condition Condition, but buyers may not go far enough in to be able to see that. And if they do, they may have the emotional trigger. Something could be wrong with the home or future issues may arise. It is a fairly affordable cost to paint the interior and exterior of your home when considering the return on investment. The factors that impact the cost of painting may include home size, multiple versus single story, paint type and quality, the prep work, the siding material, the trim, and of course, the ever-increasing cost of labor. However, realtors have very strong relationships with many vendors just like painters, so we can help facilitate a more inexpensive and quality project. The range I typically see for interior paint is for a two-bedroom house, we're looking to spend between four and seven thousand dollars, the three-bedroom, five to eight thousand, and so on with a four-bedroom, six to nine thousand dollars. The range I see for exterior painting is five to eight thousand dollars, for a one-story, a two-story home, six to nine thousand, and anything three stories or more can range a lot higher, seven to thirteen thousand dollars for a three-story. A good rule of thumb, the higher off the ground a painter is, the higher the cost of the project. So how does a project like adding a fresh coat of paint help sell your home faster? Well, new paint will show so much better during photos, which will generate a lot more buyer interest. With more online interest, there will be more buyers walking through your door. And more buyers in the door creates more offers and more competition. When advising my clients, I tend to opt in for fresh paint on most of the projects. Paint is a simple fix to make your home appear like new to new home buyers. I like to start with a list of my most trusted vendors so I can get at least three competitive bids and make sure that my clients and I are not being overcharged for materials and labor. For interiors, I like to opt in for the more light and neutral tones because they make spaces appear much larger and more open. It can also make it easier for buyers to imagine their unique belongings in that space. Light neutrals are overall more palatable to a buyer and remain on trend for interior home design. But I also like to tell my clients, keep two tips in mind. First, consider your color choices with existing fixtures like floors, tiles, and finishes, unless you're planning to update those as well. Second, don't ignore the lighting. The shade you select may look quite different, depending on if it's being reflected by the natural sunlight, fluorescent light bulbs, or incandescent lighting. For exteriors, we power wash and paint the home all the time. My team selects the color scheme that fits both the home and the neighborhood. Look at your home's exterior features like brick or stone. Now those areas are not going to be painted. These natural materials will have quite a bit of a say in the colors that you choose for your home. Remember, the sunlight impacts the exterior color choices as well. Light colors look way too bright when they're exposed to daylight. Imagining holding up a sheet of paper outside by the light. The result is blinding. You don't want your home to be a giant reflector that people have to squint to look at when they pass by. Sunlight also has cool tones, so you're gonna have to pick a much warmer tone of the color you like to make it work. Here you can see how much the sun will make the color look much cooler and much lighter. It's recommended to go with a more muted neutral color than a bold strong color unless you're the painted ladies or a renowned designer like Nicole Hollis and her slick black San Francisco Victorian you'll probably want to stick to more neutral colors. With that being said there are plenty of home colors that can complement your exterior and interior. So now you know why painting can be such an important step when preparing your home for listing. More importantly you know how to price out and select appropriate colors. If you have additional questions about the buying or the selling process or would just like some honest advice please feel free to reach out. In addition you can check out some of my other videos on my website or YouTube channel and please like and subscribe below. My name is Eli Bader with Analyze That.